Hey guys, we're going to show you how to deassemble your DualShock 3 controller. So, um, this is going to need to be off, which I'll do next. Because um, you can't work with the electricity on. So, um, this is going to be really easy. All you're going to need is a container for the screws and things that you're not going to be working with. You can just put it into here. This is for right now. All I have is a pencil holder case or whatever, and um, then you're gonna need a screwdriver. And if the screws get stuck, you're gonna have to uh, drill through, and then you're gonna have to drill another hole so it just slides it back in and out. So um, that's all you're gonna need. And uh, now I'm gonna show you how to deassemble and reassemble this DualShock 3 controller. Now that all the screws are out. You're going to pull, well not necessarily pull, but kind of push it forward, like pushing it to you. You're going to lift up, because there's a safety clip on it. So, and then uh, you're going to have to maneuver it around the R2 buttons and the L1. So, there, there's that. And then we're going to detach this battery by uh, wiggling it out. So now that this is off, you can uh, work with the controller. And then here's the sixth screw that you're going to have to unscrew. Be careful, okay? Because if you do it the wrong way and you snap this circuit board, you can't fix it. So be gentle, and uh, as you see, I'm going to go really slow. I'm going to use my finger there. So there's that baby. I'm going to put it into the little bucket there. And uh, it's all right if the circuit board comes a little loose. It's still going to be sh uh, attached to these rumblers. And then you're going to lift from the the from these, not the, you know, from here, just loosen it up, and um, there we go, it's uh, attached, and um, ooh, that didn't sound too good, but I think it's fine, um, yep, it's all good, and um, set this down, And, um, see if the circuit board comes off, don't worry. And, uh, don't worry about this right here. It's gonna, you're just gonna press again. You're gonna, there's these two little poles that, um, there's holes through all this, so you can just zip that on and then put on the circuit board back on. But this one's being difficult. So... Here we go. Yep, we got no. Nope. It's not liking me right now, but uh, yeah, don't worry about that for right now. Um, these, this all can come off if you really wanted it to. I, uh, I can reassemble. I, I'm able to reassemble it, and I'm only 13, 14. Yeah, four, 13. Don't <laughs> you know my own age? It's creepy. Uh, so that, um, you can take these off. Uh, other people say you can't, but you can. So, but, um, make sure it's lined up with it, and then you can put that back on. Whoopsies. There we go. It's all good. Um, so we're going to put that aside. Now we're going to show you the buttons right here. Um... All this right here is the start and uh, select and home button. Then there's the home button right here. Um, it's a little plastic piece. You're going to put that back in the box of where you put uh, the screws. And this too for just right now. And then here's the... You want to get a good look at that because that's where the line is going to be for the buttons. I'll try to hold in. Oh, well, that's our one in our 
L2, I mean R1 and L1 buns uh, right here. So put those in the screw bucket and um, just show you glance. And um, right here, and just pull this off and take this all off. And uh, I'm going to put this off. And uh, I want to give you a little helpful tip if you want to take these off and paint them. Because uh, I'm doing that and paint mine fall camo. My whole controller. I'll give you a picture of that when I do it. Um, so this big part right here is always going to be pointing into the middle. So don't forget about that. And don't forget pink is for square and orange is for circle. So here's that. And here's the circle or middle for the d-pad and right here is like the thing that makes me mad the most because sometimes I don't get it in right so because this is right here and then it makes you know how it rotates and just kind of pushes in but don't click well sometimes and then you're gonna put that in right like this and you're gonna make sure that uh, it's all it all looks the same and it fits in and and test it by pushing against this and you push against it and it still rotates so that's how you do that then you're gonna put in that home button and in the biggest part it's gonna go facing towards you this time so put that in oh perfect and put this against this and you're gonna put the uh, button one on the buttons and you're gonna put the d-pad one pad on the d-pad so that's how you uh, get the buttons on so now we know rest this against it so the buttons don't freak with me and now I'm gonna put this back into there and uh, pause it and then show you and remember to put those in kind of angle them into there first so it's all easy so one sec now that that's all hooked up you're going to put in that screw in I'm going to be using a different one because this one's smaller and it's a little bit easier to use yep there quick and this is a small flat top head I don't know that's what I call it the flap so it's just a single line if you look at it um so there's that now I'm gonna hook up the battery in so one sec now that the battery's back in you're gonna work on these these are probably the most difficult for me I believe because at first I thought you pushed in the R2 and then uh put in the R1 which is probably the most difficult way you could ever do this but you're gonna put it there get ready and push it all in there at once so right there see and there's gonna be a little gap don't be like you know cuz I forgot sometimes you know so we all forget sometimes so we're gonna pull that one back and we're gonna put one on one bun in there so one second, let me pause this. And then go slowly and don't put them into to uh, secure because then you might want to take it out again so just go slowly with it and make sure it's not uh, too secure on it so go easy uh, no sticky buns looks brand new and uh, and seem to turn it on so seems to be working perfectly fine so uh, just try to charge it a little second, just a second ago to double check that it works, and it works, so it's all good. Works perfect. All right, well, um, that's how to disassemble and reassemble your PS3 controller. Thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe.